Alright, welcome to the guys on YouTube. We're going to talk about the Final Fantasy XIV banner, which is actually pretty insane um, if you don't have a wall. And plus, there's a lot of good stuff in this banner too. I do not how to do not know how to say that. Seferi? Seferi? I don't know. I've seen I use it in Final Fantasy XIV. I did play Final Fantasy XIV and it was pretty damn good. Um, the attacks 143, deals 6 physical attacks to one target and lower uh, its defense by a large amount and raise the party's attack a moderate amount. Moderate amount is, I believe, 35%? I do not know if it stacks with sh shout, to be honest. I don't think it does, but, um, you guys would let me know. It probably does, actually, because it does secondary abilities, which I... It's so hard to actually know, right? Don't know if they said it in Reddit. I know, I'll probably check it out later. Um, if you guys let me know if this actually stat stacks with Shout or not. Anyway, next one is Stardust Rod. The Magic's 140, mine 69. Deal 5 magic attacks, ice attacks to random targets and temporarily infuse the user with a power of ice! Um, so this is, I guess, decent if you're using Blizzarger. It'll make it really, really OP. Especially if you're using that, um, record material, which does it twice. Yeah, I don't think it does. Yeah, I don't think it does stack with Shout because of Sabin doesn't stack with Shout either. Yeah. So, it'll lower the potential of this one, but it's a good Super Soul Break nevertheless. Temple Gloves, which I was really surprised about when reading this, to be honest. Um, attack 30, mine 21, defense 98, resistance 98, mine 22. Why is everyone saying salt? I don't know why everyone's saying salt. I'm not that salty, man. <laughs> um, temporarily raise the party's mind a moderate amount and greatly raise their critical hit chance. Doesn't stack with Zell's, neither does it stack with Jet's critical raise, but hey, has its uses. Definitely does has its uses, but you have to kind of think for yourself about that one. Raising mind and critical hit chance is very, very unique, and I don't think it will come ever again, to be honest. Very interesting. What I really hate, to be honest, is how they don't have the icons. Well, you know how you usually have the weapons? Like, you can see the weapons back in the day. If you got Squall's Cutting Trigger for an SSB, you could see the weapon. But now you can't see the fucking weapon, which really sucks. So, if you could actually see this weapon, it'll look freaking awesome, but you can't. It's very, very lazy of Dina. That's what I, like, I rant about all the time with Dina. Flexibility is really good with... This being just a soul break, it's crazy. Thyrus, you guys know it is a Sentinel's Grimmer, it is a wall. Mind 117, I mean, Mind 133, Magic 117. Very, very good. It will make it exceedingly good if you have Tyra's BSB and you stole it as a White Mage. It will just make your whole team so OP, and I think you'll be able to beat everything in the game for a long, long time. Hell, even just having wall is crazy. And especially with um, your Stolas, um, other um, soul, Super Soul Break coming out, which gives Protect, Shelga, and Major Region. That's fucking crazy, too. So if you have Sentinel's Grimoire, I guess you would be more tempted to go for that. Very crazy combinations you can use with um, your Stola and Tyro. Very, very crazy. It's fucking so good, though. Yoshi Mitsu, when this first came out, it was fucking unbelievable. Now it's not so good, unfortunately. The attacks 125, deal 4 physical attacks one target and temporarily lower its defense a large amount. So this is a breakdown, it won't stack with breakdowns. Um, it won't stack with armor breakdown, I should say. Still okay. Okay for a soul break. Pretty good in terms of soul breaks, actually. Evoker's Horn. Deal magic damage to one target and temporarily lower the target's resistance a moderate amount. So, mental breakdown, I guess it's has its uses for a shared soul break, I guess. Good range of stats, of course. Magic 30, minus 26. Very interesting, man. Very interesting. I got two 5 stars for with common pools. One, I just got a ninja armor thing. Oh, Genji armor, that's the one. 
<laughs> okay, let's do the 100 gem draw. Not really expecting much, to be honest. I'm tempted to go for the second banner. Really, really intrigues me. Oh, wow! Another Yoshimitsu, fuck. Damn it! I hate duplicates, but hey, it's more Final Fantasy XIV synergy. Hey guys, I thought about it, and I'm going to do a 3-draw for this banner, because it doesn't seem too bad. That's good stuff, and I wouldn't mind having another wall, to be honest. I guess that's the main reason. So let's do it. Let's do a 3-draw. Fuck it. We're going to use gems, too. Probably shouldn't use gems. Oh, well, fuck it. It's too late now. Come on, Mog. Oh! Got one. Masamune. Holy shit! Got the wall! That's so awesome! Awesome luck! Fantastic luck! Oh man. That's so awesome. Ah, oh, getting what you want is so satisfying. Ah, oh, I need to lock this as soon as possible. I look so fucking sexy. Now, now there's more incentive for me to draw on the next banner, to be honest. Getting two of your Stola's weapons will be awesome. Very awesome. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Hope you have a good one. Peace out.